Hello, Hello again. Namo Amirabutsu. Namo Amirabutsu. All good right. morning so, again. Good morning. Good evening. And good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the ocean of the vow. Yes. And I think we're going to discuss the <clears throat> third, is it, or fourth of Neo's uh, I... Uh, I, I, I teaching. Yeah, I thought we were on to the third, but let's just double check. I'll I'll bring up what I've got, and then we'll have a look. Bear with while I share my screen. I'll also set it set it up in case there's something you want to share. I'll set it up for multiple sharing. Great. Okay. Yeah, I have a couple of passages I thought we could read through after we read. Okay. Oh, and do we want to once again just quickly as we started to do read the re oop, uh that's not what I wanted. Uh oh yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted. There we go. Read the actual text again from Renyo. Yeah. Uh, five full teaching. Just, Would you just like to, to read that? Yeah, I'll read it again. <laughs> so eleven on the fivefold teaching. In recent years, the import of the uh, teaching of our traditions, Master Renyo, or sorry, Master Shinran has presented in various ways in the, let me just start that again, sorry. In recent years, the import of the teaching of our traditions, Master Shinran has been presented in various ways in the provinces with lack of uniformity. This is a most deplorable situation. For to begin with, although the birth of ordinary beings through other power faith has been of primary importance in our tradition, some brush aside the matter of faith and do not consider it. They propose that faith is not forgetting that Amida Tathagata settled our birth at the time of his perfect enlightenment ten kalpas ago. What is completely lacking in in this is the element of taking refuge in Amida and realizing other power of faith. Therefore, however well uh, they may have they, sorry, therefore, however well they may know that their birth has been settled since the time of perfect enlightenment ten kalpas ago, unless they fully know the significance of other power of faith through which we attain birth, they will not attain birth in the land of utmost bliss. There are also some people who say, even if we take refuge in Amida, this is to no avail without a good teacher. Therefore, there is nothing for us to do but to rely on a good teacher. These are their words. They too are people who have not properly attained our tradition's faith. The function of a good teacher, that's really a key point, those last two sentences mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a danger to avoid um, the, for, many, for many reasons, but the function of a good teacher is just to encourage people to take refuge in Amida single-heartedly and steadfastly Therefore, a five-hold teaching has been established. First, good from the past. Second, a good teacher. Third, light. Fourth, faith. Fifth, the name. Unless this five-fold teaching is realized, it is evident that birth is impossible. Thus, a good teacher is the messenger who tells us to take refuge in Amida Buddha. Without meeting a good teacher through the unfolding of good from the past, birth is impossible. Bear in mind, however, that to abandon Amida in whom we take refuge and take only the good teacher as essential is a serious error. Respectfully, Bun May 6th. 1476. Anakashko, Anakashko. Respect. So, um, can you scroll up which pathically is this? Uh, is yeah, I, I never remember when um, 
Yeah, this I is not written on the. Is that's so going to find the jamming. Almost there. Fascicle two. Fascicle two. Yeah. Two. Okay. Two eleven. Gotcha. Yeah. Two eleven. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. pull up the the pamphlet. Yeah. Oh no! Sorry, yeah, I did it again. And... There we go. Okay. Oh no, that's not the pamphlet. Four. Sorry. Where's the pamphlet? There we go. There's the pamphlet. There we go. Yeah. So the pamphlet is sorry about this. There we go. So yeah, we I think we had I think we did one and we did the kind of overview and then we did one and two. And I think yeah. we're on three. Yeah, so, and I just for yeah. the reference of those who are following along, I thought we would also uh, yeah, let's look at the Japanese real quick, just as a okay. teaching us, because we can see, um, let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. Okay, yeah, let me, I'll stop, let me just get this centered, and then I'll, yeah, okay, I'll stop sharing. Okay, there. Okay. Um, well, this is kind of interesting because we'll be able to see. So this is from Ofumi or Gokin Sho. Uh, this is actually the uh, Higashi Hongon site that I really like. It has the Shinji statement and then it has uh, the original text laid out for us. So this is letter 11 in Fasically 2. And I won't read the whole thing, obviously, but I did just want to point out Right here. Ode ni yotte goju no gi o tate tari. So goju, fivefold doctrine or teaching. Uh, hitotsu ni wa shukuzen. So this shukuzen is stored good. Shinran uses the term also uh, shuku in or stored conditioned from the distant past when he says in Yoga Shinsho. Uh, if you should realize the conditions from the distant past, and or uh, that if you should realize Shinji, rather, be grateful for the conditions from the distant past. So, Shuku in, Shuku zin, Futatsu ni wa, Zen jishiki, this is good teacher, good spiritual friend, Zen jishiki. Uh, Mitsu, third, Mitsu ni wa, Komyo, this is light. Specifically, the Buddha's life. So komyo is always used in in Buddhism to refer to the, the light of the Buddha. Yotsu ni wa shinji. Of course we know shinji. Faith or usually we just say shinji because faith is a little bit um, can be misunderstood and is somewhat insufficient to describe all that's going on in shinji. <laughs> Yeah, um, very true. Itsutsu ni wa miyogo. And this is, miyogo is the name. Actually, if we wanted to fully translate miyogo, it would be name and title is it's, it's sometimes translated. So uh, the name uh, is the miyogo in Uchi, Namuwa. So I just wanted to show the Japanese hmm. and show what we're kind of Okay, excellent. now yeah, I will thank stop you. and... No, excellent. Thank you. That is, thanks for sharing that. And uh, it's always great to have your knowledge of Japanese language and Japanese culture. And... and uh, yeah, happy to oblige. Of Jodo Shinshu really, and of uh, Buddhism. And, I mean, yeah, it's great. So, right. Excellent, thank you. Was there anything you wanted to kind of point out about that from the translation? Um, yeah, the only or... thing I would say is be aware that the um, the translation by the uh, because the Rogers um, translation in the BDK Tripitaka mm -hmm. edition of Ofumi. Uh, be aware that the the text in brackets is um, what they added to clarify yeah. the translation, and yeah. it's not. 
those words are not actually present in the original text. So, for example, um, they translate the last, the, five, the fifth of the five will teach in Yogo as um, saying the name. Well, technically, that's not the, the original, what the original text says. Saying the name would be show me, <laughs> as in show me your nimbutsu, mm -hmm. say the name, as we'll see when we get to that part. Myogo means uh, really the, the the name as such, the iconic name. If you if you go to Kyoto, go to Honzan, either Nishi or Nashi, they're about the same. They have um, the Myogo. Um, there's the ten character Myogo. There's the eight character Myogo. Um, so the ten character Myogo, I think it's Himyo uh, Jinjito. I take refuge in the pocket of unhindered light shining throughout the tin direction. In the, it's on a lotus pedestal, which is communicating to us that the name itself is Amida. Uh, the mm. entire, on the what Amida is, yeah. is the name. Mm -hmm. And what the name is, is Amida. There's no mm -hmm. duality between the two. So the truth that is beyond words of phenomenon the Wutsu is being expressed to us uh, in in letters, in language, actually. Um, we don't have to imagine, you know, or think of anything other than Namun the That that in itself is the whole truth of, of the Dharma. And so that's called Myo Tai Funi. Uh, Anji Kensujusha, so it means the non duality of the body, the Buddha's body, and the Buddha's name. They're one and the same. They're not, they cannot be uh, distinguished. Um, mm. in, in, and if you think about it, that makes sense because what is Amita's body, true body, is, is wisdom, light, uh, light inconceivable, shining throughout the same direction. What is the exactly. name? It tells us that. <laughs> it's that in words, not imyo jin dipo mugeko nyorai. Or the eight character name would be nam namo ukashi ko butsu. And there's also a nine character name, which is namo ukashi ko nyorai. But that's a rare one. That, that you don't often yeah. see that one, but it does exist. Um, in fact, Kobai Sensei has a, a very rare uh, nine character name scroll. Uh, so, anyway, uh, what I, I say all that to say that um, you have to be careful with translation. Translation is always just an interpretation, and it can be a very helpful one, but it's never the final word of what the what the meaning mm -hmm. is, and that's why we're always encouraged to rely, right? Not on the not on the words, but on the meaning. On the so, meaning, exactly. Um, it really helps if you can have if you if you and, yourself know. Yeah. Go ahead. It, yeah. It yeah. can be limiting. It's another. It's another way. Interpretation yes. trans translation can be limiting. We have to always remember. It's beyond any of. That anything that can be put to words. Yep. You know, I like, I like that the name, you know, the ten character name, encompasses all of that, because that's mm -hmm. the expansiveness of it and the ten directions. It includes the ten directions. It includes all of that. Yeah. It, you know. Everywhere. Everywhere. No, there's could... nowhere that it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't shine or isn't heard. Yeah. And I think, you know, there's different, like, one way people sometimes think of, of the Buddha is like, or of Amida is that, you know, there's this distant ear land far in the West, and, and Amida Buddha is like a light bulb, you know, kind of shining out. But actually, the, the light, Shinran says that the light itself is Amida. Amida. The light. Yep. Is light, 
This is why I often say, you know, I'm often speaking in slash, slash, you know, the, you know, (laughs) the name, call, mind, light, vow, you know, slash, slash, slash. When I'm writing about these things or when I'm talking about them, that's what I'm, I'm trying to kind of convey that. You know, yeah, uh, it's it's all it's all interrelated. It's you can't have, you know, the, the vow without the name, the name without the vow, and vice versa. And you can't have either of those things without us, <laughs> without human beings, without uh, living beings. Um, there's a really interesting okay. passage in um, one of the, the works by Kakunyo, oral history of what things that Shinran says that you know says. Uh, the vow is human beings, and human beings are the vow. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> Mind blown. Yeah, exactly. That there's those passages, aren't there, about, or I don't know if it's in commentaries about the Nambutsu follower and Amida being one. Isn't there? Right. Yeah. Kiho Itai, the idea of the Dharma and the the, the, um, practicer of the object of the Dharma being one is originally kind of comes from the Anjin Ketsujo show, which uh, Rinyo sort of borrowed a lot from. And then um, so that idea uh, sort of came from from, uh, Anjin. It's interesting, Shinran doesn't ever use that terminology, but it is, um, thanks to Rinyo, it's become a, an important sort of part of Shinran's thought. Well, I think this is a good segue about the unlimitedness of the name, call, light, vow, power of Amida, <laughs> to talking about the next the next of the five-fold teaching, the third of the five-fold teaching. Shall I reshare? Yes. My personal favorite, although it's hard to choose one. <laughs> yes, yeah. please. Excellent. Okay. So, Amida's light. The light of Amida is how all sentient beings are reached. Renyo wrote, uh, a wrong view from 10 kalpas ago. Oh, sorry. Let me say that again. The light of Amida, the light of Amida is how all sentient beings are reached. Renyo wrote in a wrong view from 10 kalpas ago, single-heartedly take refuge in Amida, and then the Tathagata will embrace you within his light and never forsake you. This is how the single thought of entrusting is decisively settled. Namo Amida Patsu. Yeah, the um, light, light. We were just talking about yeah. <laughs> So inconceivable exactly. light. Uh, you know, in the Wasan, the first series of Wasan, Shinran, you know, uh, take refuge in all these different expressions for Amida. And also in the in the Lord Jin Sutra, you know, there's the 12 sort of, they're given as 12 names of Amida that are actually referring to the, the light. Um, they're all descriptions of the light. And um, I uh, thought maybe we should the, the, the chapter of Kyogyo Shinsho that most clearly relates to um, this Amida's light is, is the chapter on the true Buddha in Leon. Um, okay. Oh, okay. You have it up there. Yeah. yeah. Chapter on true Buddha and Leon. True Buddha and land. Okay. There we go. And yeah, actually, we should just read this. Um, because it'll make everything will become clear. <laughs> I think okay. Read the whole chapter. 
not read. the whole thing. Okay. It's very yeah, long, I was going to say that was. The, let's read the opening and okay. the sutra passages. Okay. So I guess I could go ahead and read. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, take. Yeah. Okay. Take it away. So a collection of passages revealing the true Buddha and land of the hero and way. This is uh, four. No, the fifth um, chapter of, of the Third Ocean. Fifth yeah. old. I'll show you. Now they're fifth. Um, yep. So, compiled by Yutoku Shinran, the Festival of Shakyamuni. Reverently contemplating the true Buddha and the true man, I find that the Buddha is the propagata of inconceivable life, and that the land also is the land of immeasurable life. Because they have arisen to the fulfillment of vows of great compassion, they are called true, fulfilled Buddha and man. There are relevant vows that were made, the vows of light and of life. So, um, Shenron here is saying that the true nature of, of Amida um, and the land, the pure land, is, is light. Right? And, uh, of course, we know there's all kinds of light. What what is light? What is this light? Is it a, it's not a physical light, not like a uh, scientific, you know, <laughs> yeah. phenomenon within. Um, but rather, as we know, what does light mean in, in Buddha's Buddhism? Wisdom, wisdom, non-discriminating wisdom that sees things as they truly are, hmm. truly exactly. the true nature of all. So, so now yeah. let's now you know, take from the future passage. So um, I'll just read a couple of these. Okay. Um, we'll see how far we get. So first, um, the larger sutra states: If, when I attain Buddhahood, my light not be infinite and not illumine even a hundred thousand ayutas of Kodi of Buddha land, may I not attain the supreme. Further, it is stated in a vow, if, when I attain Buddhahood, my life not be infinite and not span even a hundred thousand mayutas of kotis of kalpas, may I not attain the supreme enlightenment. So these two vows of infinite light and immeasurable infinite life um, are tied to together. Shinran, these are, yes, they're tied together and they are um, how the true fulfilled Buddha and land arose. So these are the causal vows of that, the form of that Buddha, which is <coughs> Amida, um, infinite. Amida means infinite, right? So we have um, Amitabha, Amiteus, infinite life, infinite light. And Amida is a, is a shortening of those two, just the first part, Amita, Amita in, 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 in Sanskrit, um, infinite. So when we say Amida Buddha, we're actually saying infinite Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, and what is infinite? The light and the life. Now, what is interesting, and I've always, this is something I learned in Japan from my class at Shuobu Kyobakurin, and also there's an article on the uh, various places that got to think about this. So light, the significance of infinite light is that light shines in all dimensions of space. So ten, ten directions, all, everywhere. You know, when you have light, it just is everywhere. It shines everywhere. Okay. Um, now, of course, uh, the phenomenon of light in a scientific sense, can be blocked by objects. But the light of wisdom, which is Amida, is not hindered, and least of all hindered by our own, our blind passions. And that's why it's called unhindered, Mugeko, Mugeko, um, unhindered light. <clears throat> and so three dimensions everywhere, right? Infinite in three dimensions. Now, life, what is that? Life is time. So 
Amida is infinite in, th in three dimensions of, of, of uh, space and also infinite time. in time. So everywhere, total time and space, you know, time and space, we can say that. Amida is, I, is present. It's a, it, yeah, you went on to say that is, is, it's interesting you went on to say that because I was about to say when you were saying three dimensions, I said, well, actually, it's probably what about time. Dimensions. It's probably <laughs> yeah, 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 but there's probably infinite directions, you know, and yeah. there's infinite dimensions that you know Amida yeah. can perceive, you know, that that yeah. Amida light light can reach, you know, yeah. um, you know, um, the you know they there's 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 I don't know what you would call it uh speculation right. or theories theories or yeah yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah that you know in in physics and in astrophysics that they they yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know they they are you know multiple dimensions there's theories Bands. about yeah dimensions beyond you know you know yeah. uh, um what we can right. even kind of get our head right. right. Um, so, but anyway, if, I just, yeah, just beyond the limiting, to... it's beyond right. any, it's, it's what? beyond all those. It goes, <laughs> goes right. to any dimension beyond those dimensions, you know, yeah. it goes, it goes uh, anyway. So yeah, in time and space. Yeah. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. And so, okay. So I love these. Passages. Infinite. Okay. Number four, let's go down a bit. Now. So those were the, what's called Ingon. Causal vows. So, Kozo Bosatsu Dharmakara was in his causal ground as a bodhisattva. He made these vows, right? And then, as we know, he practiced and fulfilled these vows. These vows were fulfilled. So, that's the next passage. The passage declaring the fulfillment of these vows states The Buddha said to Ananda, the majestic radiance of the Buddha of immeasurable life is exalted in supreme. The radiance of other Buddhas cannot compare with it. For this reason, the Buddha of immeasurable life is called Buddha of immeasurable light, Buddha of boundless light, Buddha of unhindered light, Buddha of incomparable light, Buddha of light that is bored of Buddha of I the love light that of one. purity. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Buddha of the light of joy. Buddha of the light of wisdom. Buddha of uninterrupted light. Buddha of inconceivable light. Buddha of inexpressible light. And Buddha of light surpassing seven. Sentient beings who encounter this light have the three defilements swept away. And they become soft and gentle in body and mind. They dance with joy, and the good mind arises in them. When those suffering the pain and travail in the three evil courses see this light, they all find respite in our freed of affliction. After their lives have ended, they all gain emancipation. The light of the Buddha, the measurable light, is splendent and brilliant. Illuminates the land of the Buddha out of the ten quarters. Nowhere is it not heard of. It is not I alone who praise this light now. All Buddhas, Shravakas, Pratyahudas, and Bodhisattvas together praise it just as I do. <coughs> when sentient beings hear of this light's majestic virtues, fear is an interesting word there. Uh, and mm -hmm. praise it day and mm -hmm. night with full notes of heart and without interruption. They will attain birth in that way in accord with their heart's aspiration. And all the bodhisattvas and shravakas will extol and praise their teacher. Upon attaining the enlightenment of Buddhahood later, their light will be praised by all the Buddhas and bodhisattvas throughout the ten quarter, just as I now praise. And then going down just a little bit, um, the Buddha said, even if I were to expound the magnificent splendor and wondrous of the light of the Buddha, day and night for a kalpa, still I could not <laughs> exhaust it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Namo Amida Putsu. <laughs> Namo Amida Putsu. Boom. Boom. 
So, oh, we're at, and then, we're at the and 10 then he minute goes mark on to talk about, yeah, yeah. And this yeah, is good sorry. because we, we address good. the light, and yeah. then the rest of the passage goes on to talk about light. Yeah. But, homie, there's a couple light, of things I want to come uh, back to here with, yeah, yeah, in this absolutely. discussion. But, yeah, I had to say what you were going to say. Yeah, I was just going to say this is expressing the fulfillment of the vow of the light. infinite light. Cool. There's a few things that I want to say is it's it's almost like, you know, and I don't say this lightly, but in a transcendent way, the 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 light is so in so all surpassing and transcendent that it you almost you have synesthesia in <laughs> experiencing it. You smell yeah. it, you smell light. You can hear light. You can yeah. taste light. Once you become aware you can, of it. Yeah. yeah, it's that's what I mean. It's almost when it when it says about hearing light, that's what yeah. my mind went to. That's because you, it's all surpassing. It's yeah. all transcendent. Yeah. So you you experience. You could it can be experienced in every. There's not one sense that it does not touch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's not you know yeah. in some way yep. in, in in a sense in a sense in some transcendent. Yeah sense that only buddhism bodhisattvas can understand but um right and it's also you know it's and this is why we sometimes say that amida is uh not 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 merely transcendent but but imminent because the light is unsurpassed and yet it's here <clears throat> and it's it's uh it's right here right now it's yes. both unsurpassed and it's you know you of course know about the twofold dharma body right the dharma body as um compassionate mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then the dharma body as the the absolute mm -hmm. right? so mm -hmm. it's it's um yeah and that's why we sometimes say like imminence you know there's a uh there's the idea of, in in Christianity, for example, the idea of God is is one of transcendence traditionally. But you know, there's some process theologians and some other people who have suggested uh, an idea of the divine as being imminent, you know, being both um, being actually somehow you know uh, deeply invested in this world and this reality. And that that is the sense in which we can definitely speak of the Buddha because um, the Tagata is never separate from from us and from you and me and you know there's and so uh, that's what this and that's where all the you know demonstrates. the Tagata Garba teachings come in. The, the mm -hmm. Buddha nature starts to it starts right. to right. connect, you know, you start to yeah. Uh, All beings uh, have yeah. the nature, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so this is the light, yeah. and you know what, what is really cool. And Shinran uses this terminology: is uh, hear the light. Yes. How important so, hearing and this is, is interesting to the Dharma, to our Dharma yeah, path. And you know, it's like Genshin Kasho says. Uh, I, the light is shining all the time, all around me. But I, my eyes are blinded by, are blinded by glaciers, right? So I can't um, perceive. I can't see this, this wondrous light. And yet, great compassion untiringly embraces me. And so, those, if we are, you know, normal people who aren't in like bumpy, right? We can't see the light, but we can hear it. And Amida makes us to hear it through the name, Namu Amida Butsu. So that's that's where you know Shinran really emphasizes um, more so than simply saying the name. In Shin Buddhism, we emphasize we emphasize hearing the name. Mm. It's really the, the mm -hmm. primary importance is on uh, hearing. hearing. And notice how, how many times it comes up in this passage um, when sentient beings hear of this light's majestic virtues. 
and I think up farther too, it, it might have uh, it let's see, sentient beings who encounter this light. Encounter, here, encounter, yeah. Here, encounter, you know. There's a, and so. Encounter that, to me is such a good word because it's yeah. not just a, you know, oh, I noticed that or I, <laughs> yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, something out of the corner of my eye it's a it's, it's an encounter it's a yeah you're yes. fully in something you're fully engaged with you yes. you can't help you you're like yeah okay and this i've is encountered why. this person or i encountered this high strangeness or i encountered this do you know what i mean yeah this situation okay. it's you know when somebody uses that word when that word is used it's not it's not a casual. No ordinary meeting. No, exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, <clears throat> and that's, now we're starting to see because I hinted at last time is we're starting to see where you know Shinshu is is a, is a school of Buddhism that is based in the vows, and we're starting to see. How the language is is it's the same words, but it's a different. The concepts are different. So mm. sentient beings who encounter this light, like you said, the encountering the light. Okay, I'm going to go out and encounter the light today. <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> exactly. the encounter with the light is something that is. <laughs> brought about by the working of a power beyond <laughs> myself right yeah it's yeah yeah it's like um, it's like the um yeah i'm gonna go i'm gonna go we're, we're gonna go and find the yaksha do you know what i'm talking about <laughs> the sauce the, yeah. sc the squatch hunters you know this the, the sasquatch. sasquatch sasquatch hunters um, you know i'm gonna go encounter the yaksha you know <laughs> yeah or or right here and Tindu means hear yeah. this life with it. Yeah. Um, hearing, you know, and that that is a spontaneous. It's something um, that you're receiving. It's not. Yeah. You hear something. It's not. You didn't generate it. You didn't. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, like, you know, you say to someone, man, I saw this incredible sunset the other day. And then they say to you, oh, really? Well, what did you eat for dinner? <clears throat> or, you know, oh, really? Well, did you go to the gym that day? Like, how did, how, what did you do to see the incredible sunset? You know? <laughs> <laughs> There's a totally how did you do that? Uh, how did you do that? How did you see that incredible sunset? I want to see an incredible sunset. Well, there it is. You can you can see it for yourself. It's, it's over there. Go and you know when the causes and conditions are right, you will see the incredible sunset, just like I saw it. So you know again, and we're going to really see this as we dig into, it's, of course, the 18th vow. Yeah. is that the conception, the frame, the the framework is just different, and that's yeah. why when you hear someone who will say something like. Well, you know, just say the name and, and don't worry about the thoughts that you have and and choose to believe. That's a totally I just, different that's yeah. not what yeah, you know, what we're what we're reading about here, right? <laughs> no, it's not it's not this it's there's no limit, you know, it's not yeah. it's there's not a limit to it. I definitely want to pick up on a couple of things. I, I think we probably need to do another session. Um, I don't think we can do one session on the light. Yeah, we're at less than one minute. Yeah. So, so I think this I definitely want to pick up on. Yeah. This sentence here as, you know, in the framework uh -huh. of the light and also this and also yeah. um, and also everything. It's just basically <laughs> the whole thing. There's more I wanted to discuss about this subject. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's, let's uh, do some carry on the conversation. All right. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo 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 Namo. Namo. All right. Great conversation. Thanks so much. Yes. Next week or hopefully.